Hey guys, it's Nick. It's Jeremy. And this is your week's Atomic Fortnite Fix. Jeremy, update 5.41. It's here, it's out. I'm pretty sure this is the last update we're gonna get before 6.0. And we got some new items, some new skins. We got tons of new stuff. One of the new things we got, Spiky Stadium. Have you messed around with that yet? Oh, yes. Um, I think we both have messed around with it. I mean, we might have. We might have. Yeah. I, 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 the thing I really love about it is being able to stack them. To stack the stadiums? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We had a really good time with that. We had a really good time with that. So you can find the Spiky Stadium in playgrounds only right now. And they, they come from red supply drops. So they're these like, you know, the little like balloon things that have the, the cool little boxes of supplies at the bottom. So you're gonna get the stadium and a ton of impulse grenades. A ton. When I say when we say ton, we mean like a ton. A metric ton of them. You might actually get confused for the actual grenades because they all look the same. Yeah, yeah, they, they dig around. Yeah, they, they all there? look look very similar, very similar. And I mean it, it's pretty cool. And it's it's very, very treacherous, especially when you use one on top of another one on top of another one next to another one, which we may or may not have done. Especially if someone's digging through the walls. Yeah, and yeah. Under it. And under it and around it. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. The halls are all filled with traps. Yeah. yeah. It's yeah. just amazing. It's quite treacherous, but tons of fun. Yes. We got sure. some we got some other stuff in the update too. Oh yeah. A port of fortress. So we've got the port of fort. What's so cool about the port of fortress? Well, it's like three times bigger in width, and it's actually a little bit taller, but it's just this massive building that instantly c comes to be. Like, it's just not one little tube, it's like uh -huh. these structures around it that builds up. I actually sat there and had a little fun and stacked five of them. That's nice. That's cool. Oh, yeah. It was a giant tower. I did it in... um paradise and it was the tallest thing you could see <laughs> you could see it from uh retail rows massive massive nice. building yeah so it's so like i assume that it would be very similar to the port of fort but like on a whole nother level it's like port of fort is here and then port of fortress is way up here i actually did a comparison i threw one right next to the other one uh -huh. just to see that these uh blueprint of it is just massive it's, it's just, just gigantic. It's, gigantic. Yes, it's literally it's huge. Three by the width. And the height's just a little bit taller, though. But it yeah. has little triangles on top, so you can have a little hideaway. So, you, so it really does feel like a, a port of fortress. Yes, That's and cool. it, it also has the escape. Oh, nice. Uh, uh, Makes to sense. Do, there's a little Makes bounce sense. pad right there. You can nice. Fall and just boom, gone. Nice. That's cool. So, what else, what else do we get with, with the update 5.41? Well, we got the storm. The storm is no longer breaking your structures when it gets uh, closer in. Like, like closer to like to like the end of the match? Yeah, more like the closer to the end of the match, just the smaller the circle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That, that's cool. It, it makes sense. I, th I think for it to damage each structure continuously throughout the whole match, I kind of made it a little, a little too much, just a little bit. So I, I think for it to kind of cool it for the last couple circles really helps out and it, it adds it adds to the to the layer of competition that, that Fortnite brings. Yeah, a lot of people probably complain also at the end where they're probably. having to build battles and the storm's coming in and they're all falling. Yeah, and then you're yeah, everything that you just spent so much time to build is falling and then you just die. Yeah. And that's it. That's where it is. Because yeah. they don't actually explain what distance or the smallest the circle would be yeah, for yeah. that whole thing to start happening. So it's probably yeah. gonna do the opposite of the storm. So when the storm's gonna come in, it's probably gonna do more damage and slower the, you know, closer yeah, it is. it'll probably like lower the damage that it does and then like the last few, like two or three storms, it probably won't do any damage at all. Yeah, that's so. what I, I think it's gonna happen. I haven't seen it yet. Yeah, yeah. So along with these items in 5.41, we got some new skins. New backlinks. Some new gliders. Mm. We got a lot of cool stuff. A lot of cool stuff. So one of this, a couple of the skins we got are kind of clown skins. You got the Night Knight, which is like a male clown. You have the Peekaboo, which is a female clown. You have the Valkyrie, which mm. is essentially the female version of what was that one? Uh, 
Ragnarok? The Ragnarok, yeah. yeah. It's basically the female version of the Ragnarok skin. Honestly, I like it better. It looks really cool. It, it looks, looks really, really cool. Yeah. You have the Valkyrie wings, which are these kind of like ice dragon wings oh, as a back yes. bling. They're so cool. You have the battle balloon, which is really cool. That's probably my favorite of the new, of the new ones. There's also the balloon llama, which is really cool. I think that's going to be overused. The balloon llama? Oh, yeah, <laughs> definitely, definitely. And then the new glider that we get is frost wing, which is eerily similar similar to some dragons that I've seen in World of Warcraft, but it's pretty cool. I'll take it. I can't wait to get my hands on that frost oh, wing. Oh, yeah. That glider is going to be epic. I just can't. It's my gonna, mind is going to be about epic. The the, yes, it's going to be super epic. <laughs> the animation for it to pop out is just going to be oh, it's, oh, And then soaring down with the wings, like actually, flapping. Comes That's going to be so cool. You. Instead of just popping out, it just comes out and catches you. It just flies out of nowhere and just grabs you? Yeah. yeah that'd be awesome. That'd be really cool. I, I hope that happens. I hope it does. Maybe a legendary? Maybe. Probably. Who knows? So apart from update 5.41, we also got news of some bundles of Fortnite. So Nintendo Switch is putting out a Fortnite bundle for $299. 300 bucks, basically. It includes a Nintendo Switch, a thousand V-Bucks, and the Double Helix set, which includes a Double Helix skin, back bling, glider, and the pickaxe, which is pretty cool. I, I believe I that's like it. the same price as their traditional with nothing, right? Yeah, yeah, so for no extra charge, you're getting a thousand V-Bucks, a new skin, back bling, glider, pickaxe. You know, you're, you're getting all of this cool limited stuff that is only available on the Nintendo Switch, which if you don't have a Switch, I would recommend go out and getting that. Grab yeah. that real quick. It's actually quite nice. Yeah, it's yeah. A traditional bundle. Yeah, I, I, I like it. I heard there was a, a PS4 bundle. Yes, uh, so you're actually going to get a controller mm -hmm. from the PS4 and with, it comes with 500 V-Bucks with the Royal Bomber skin. That skin's pretty cool. It's a, it's a, it's a simple skin, but I like it. I, I have a soft spot for simple skins. It's pretty cool. Well, you always rock the kind of simple but luxurious I, the skins. That, is, that <laughs> is what I do. That is what I do. I love my Leviathan skin. Yes. Uh, another skin that we've, that we've seen that may be an exclusive is an Xbox One exclusive. Now, this hasn't been confirmed, but we've seen images of the, the Eon skin bundle. And rumor is it's going to be exclusive for Xbox One only. I think it would be unfair to make that just Xbox. Just, uh, it just looks too awesome. It's it's a pretty cool skin, and, and the glider, the pickaxe, all of it, it, it all looks pretty cool. So in the bundle, you're gonna get 2,000 V-Bucks, which is a lot of V-Bucks, let me tell you. That's a big chunk of change. Is it an Xbox? <laughs> I think it's an Xbox. <laughs> Thousands of, uh, you know, Switch. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So you're going to get 2,000 V-Bucks. You're going to get the Eon skin. You're going to get the Resonator pickaxe and the Aurora glider, which is all pretty cool. But once again, that's still just a rumor, but I really hope that it comes true because a lot of a lot of times when I play Fortnite, it's either it's usually either on my Switch or my Xbox, and I I, I might get that depending on how much it costs. I'm I a PS4 guy. You are, you are, and I, that's all good. I've been needing to get one. Yeah. The one that's been the closest to my heart is this Tomb Raider one that's $3,000. The $3,000 <laughs> one, that's what gets me. That's a little much. That's <laughs> a little much. So with season six coming up, like we got to have thoughts on it. What do you think is going to happen in season six? Honestly, I've been seeing a lot of trends and looking around. What I haven't really seen is a super sci-fi city. I've seen western, I've seen yeah. desert, I've seen you know, a lot of modern stuff and whatnot. I just haven't seen something super sci-fi. That's like super like sci-fi, like, like like the Jetsons, like futuristic, like yeah. really out there. Yes. Yeah. That's, yeah. That's what I'm thinking that's going to happen. No one's thought of it yet. That'd be really cool. That'd be really cool. I'd, I'd like to see that. I mean, anything that brings in more of the Leviathan type stuff, I'm all about that. Yeah. All about that. Uh, honestly, I, I heard a rumor about Loot Lake becoming a volcano, becoming kind of, becoming kind of like a lava like fireplace, which I think that'd be really cool. I, like, I would love to see some sort of volcano or, you know, over where, where like, like where Viking is, I would love to see more snow there. I, I, would, I would love to see them go with more different temperature and, you know, different just different areas that are, that are like that. It has to be so much where it crowds and goes over greasy. Yeah. That has to be that much. You know? Well, I mean, if you if you have a, a volcano at Loot Lake that goes into greasy, you're just gonna start a grease fire. <laughs> <laughs> we don't so want that. <laughs> what about uh, what about Halloween? You think there's gonna be any some any sort of like special game mode, kind of like like the getaway or something like that for Halloween? I think it'd be really cool if trick we got trick or treat. That's what it's gonna be called. Trick, <laughs> trick or treat. <laughs> yeah, trick or treat. <laughs> yeah, that'd be really cool. And I think it's gonna be kind of like Thanos, uh -huh. but you know, like uh, 
with like Jason chasing you or something, you know? Yeah, you got, yeah. You got this like tank character going at it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so do you think do you think they're they're gonna have any like like really like really super cool like specific Halloween skins? Like we play we play with a guy who also thinks that there's gonna be like a headless horseman skin, which that would be really cool. I'm gonna I'd double down on that one. Headless double down on the headless yeah. horseman. Yeah. Yeah, that'd be cool. I would if I could have one Halloween skin, it would just be a ghost. Where you just have a sheep over <laughs> yourself. That'd be so great. That, I would that love would that. Make my day. that. Yeah, that would that'd be great. Yeah. And speaking of making days, we hope we made your day. And if we did, a like would be super appreciated on this video. Comment down below, let us know what you think, and make sure you hit that subscribe button for more things Fortnite fix. And don't forget to share. Don't forget to share, guys. Sharing is caring. Mm -hmm. And have a good day. Have a good one. I don't know why I winked. <laughs> Thank you.